When you sell your house, what stays and what goes? Let's review a couple of terms that you want to understand first. So the first one is inclusions. And this is anything that you're including in the sale of your property that's not already glued, screwed, or taped to the home. Now an exclusion is anything that is glued, screwed, taped, or nailed to the property, but you do not want to transfer it with your sale. And personal property, that's something that you own. It's not attached to your property and, you're, and you are taking it with you. These are things like clothes, food, furniture. All right, let me answer a few frequently asked questions to illustrate some of these terms. So a lot of people say, hey, can I take my curtains? My grandma made them for me. Uh, your curtains are yours. They are personal property and you can take them. But what about the curtain rods? Actually, they're technically attached to the house, so they're part of the house. For that reason, if you want them, we have to exclude them from the sale. Now, what about like artwork, decor, family photos, that kind of thing? Well, of course you can take those without having to exclude them uh, if they're hanging on a nail. If they happen to be really heavy and they're glued or they're screwed to the, to the wall, um, then you want to exclude those from the sale. Okay, what about the refrigerator, the washer and the dryer? These items are considered personal property. They're not part of the house and they do have tremendous value if you think about it, especially in 2021 when there's an appliance shortage. So if you're leaving them, keep that in mind. You don't technically need to exclude the washer, the dryer, or the refrigerator because they're personal property. But if you leave them, they would be considered inclusions. So what about like a water filtration system? Well, that's typically attached to the pipe somewhere. So that's considered part of the house. If you need to take it with you because it was expensive, you want it for your next house, we have to exclude that from the sale. Now, what about TVs and TV mounts as an example? TVs are widely considered personal property and that because they're attached to the TV mount, but the TV mount itself is actually attached to the wall, which is part of the house. So if you want to take the TV mount, we have to exclude it from the sale. The TV, no big deal. And just remember, obviously, if you're taking a big TV mount off the wall, we probably want to patch up the wall, make sure it looks good. The buyer is not going to appreciate big holes in the wall. What about my favorite light fixtures? It's, they're mounted to the house, and so they're part of the house unless you exclude it. You guys are starting to get the picture, I'm sure. Video doorbells, kind of same idea. Exclude them from the sale if you want to take them with you. Now, what about things like the trampoline, pool table, swing set in the backyard? Some people want to leave items like this when they move because they're hard to move, and there's a good chance that the people who are buying them would want them to stay with the house. We could include them in the sale unless you prefer to sell them online or to a neighbor or something. Keep in mind, however, if the buyer doesn't want them and specifically leaves them out of the contract, you are responsible to have them removed.